Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. You know what?、Yeah. Today is our literature unit, and it is. Tom and I. I'm Stephanie.、Mm-hmm. We're going to be talking about it as we usually do. We have three days that we're going to be talking about this particular book called Unwind.、Uh, it's by an author I hadn't seen before. We just looked him up. He's kind of young and cute, Neil Shusterman,、um, with a beard. Just kind of describing him. He's got quite a few interviews on YouTube. If you just go there, you can listen to some English, see how much you can understand. I don't think he talks too fast, so I think it's possible to really、uh, listen to what he has to say. I love to listen to interviews. I think that's fun. It's cool, and you can learn a lot about the author, him or herself, and what they're writing about. So,、uh, the book we're talking about today is entitled. Unwind, and it says it's an absurd look at aborting teenagers. Interesting when we see the word abort,、uh, especially when we talk about abortion. That's when somebody decides to not be pregnant anymore, and that, of course, is quite controversial in different parts of the world. But in any case. They're talking about aborting teenagers. That's interesting. What's that all about? Well, I guess we just have to read through our article today to find out what this is all about. So let's get to it. Let's read and let's listen. Connor, Risa, and Lev are teenage runaways who try to stay away from the authorities. They have all been scheduled to be dismembered. This is a special process the government forces on teenagers between the ages of 13 and 18. If a teen is selected to be unwound, they will be killed, but their organs will be saved to help people who need transplants. In this way, they won't be considered dead because their body parts will live on. However, these teens have decided that it's not their time to die yet. While hiding from the police. Connor picks up an abandoned baby on a doorstep. He knows the baby will be sent to a state home and will later be unwound if he leaves it there. This action attracts the attention of the police, so the three flee into a school. There, they encounter a sympathetic teacher who agrees to adopt the baby and helps them escape. They head to the graveyard, an aircraft boneyard run by a man called the Admiral. Here. They will learn different trades and work until they turn 18, when they can no longer be unwound by the government. One day, the admiral has a heart attack. The teens decide to take him to a nearby hospital. There, they're captured by the government and taken to a camp to be mutilated. Just before Connor is to be unwound, the camp is attacked by teen suicide bombers. Connor and Risa are injured at the hospital. A nurse gives Connor a fake ID so he can escape. Risa isn't unwound either because she's paralyzed in the blast. Lev is sent to jail for taking part in the bombing attack. In the end, Connor and Risa return to the graveyard where Connor takes over the admiral's job. Okay, guys, we're gonna just、uh, jump in here. Unwind is the title of the book. To unwind it can mean different things. If you wrap something up and then unwrap it, you're unwinding it.、Uh, maybe you have a ball of string. If you、uh, wind it up, it turns into the ball. But if you unwind it, it just、uh, becomes a piece of string.、Uh, that is.、Uh, we also use this though. Unwind also means to relax. You know, if somebody's wound up, they're kind of stressed. They're under a lot of pressure. Oh, you're you're too wound up. You need to unwind. Sit down, relax, eat a pizza, watch TV. So this is the title of the book, Unwind, and they're saying it's an absurd look at aborting teenagers. Absurd is an adjective that means something that's happening, a person or an idea, even that suggests it is unreasonable. It's crazy. You can't even believe someone thought of it, or it's inappropriate. So it is kind of absurd to think that、uh, 
a, a world could actually abort teenagers. So you would kill these teenagers by aborting them, which means actually in this book they take their、um, organs, which is kind of gross. <laughs> uh, exactly, and、yeah. maybe in the past, maybe if someone suggested that someday the Germans will kill six million Jews, they、like, would have said,、yeah. "Oh, that's absurd! How could such a thing happen?"、Yeah. But it actually did.、Uh, all absurd things don't necessarily come true in the future, but it just means it's very ridiculous. It's hard to believe. It's very unlikely to happen. But this is a look at aborting teenagers. I talked about the word abortion earlier, and they're doing things to teenagers. Here,、uh, I should mention that the word "unwind" and some of the other terms that they use here are special for this book only. Okay, so if you use the word "unwind,"、uh, it does mean to loosen the string of a ball or something like that, or to relax. And it's not the meaning in normal conversation as it is used in this book. But let's get to it here. Oh,、the、let main... me let me say yeah, something there, Tom.、Uh, you'll actually find in books,、uh, authors are allowed to make up a new definition for words.、It's They want, and this is what the author has done. So you just need to be aware that sometimes、uh, what you're reading, they're actually using a word in a different way than we're used to. Yeah, and sometimes、uh, if the writer invents the term, it actually、uh, is used quite commonly.、Uh, like in 1984, for example, Orwell invented the term "Big Brother." Right. Well, now we use that to talk about、uh, any authoritarian authoritarian government. Big Brother. Big Brother is watching you. Watch、yeah. out. Uh, let's get to it here. In any case, we've got the main characters: Connor, Risa, and Lev. They are teenage runaways who try to stay away from the authorities. If you're a runaway, that means you have. Run away! Probably you've left home、uh, because you don't like your home life. Maybe your parents are abusive, or you think you'd do better on your own and stuff like that.、Uh, I suppose there are runaways here in Taiwan, but、uh, this is a pretty big problem in the United States.、Uh, Runaways—they're picked up by criminal gangs and stuff like that sometimes. So watch out for that. And in any case, the authorities, of course, are the people in charge: the government, the police, etc. Yeah, people that are in charge are the authorities.、Um, they. Have all been scheduled for something really awful. They're going to be dismembered. You'll hear this word used on TV programs or in movies when someone cuts up another person's body. So they cut the limbs off, and sometimes they just cut the whole body apart. Sometimes these dis- dis- dismembered people are put into a garbage bag and thrown into the garbage, or、mm. sometimes they're thrown into the sea, the ocean,、uh, so that these bodies are never recovered. Kind of gross, yeah. Disgusting, yeah. yeah. Well, they're、uh, scheduled to be dismembered, which、uh, in this particular book is a special process that the government forces on teenagers.、Uh, here, force on that means. Uh, someone in power makes you do this, and you don't have any choice about this. So the government forces them to undergo this special process, or they force this process on the、mm-hmm. teenagers, and they force it on teenagers who are between the ages of 13 and 18. Those are teenagers. There, I guess if you're 19, you're okay. And if a teen is selected to be unwound, they will be killed, but their organs will be saved to help people who need transplant. So there's the term unwound. That's the past participle there to be unwound, and in this particular book, it means they're killed, but they use their organs for transplants, which means basically someone. Uh, who needs an organ like your heart, your liver, your kidney, or something gets it for, from somebody who has recently passed away. Yeah, in、uh, today's terms, we actually talk about、uh, people harvesting organs.、Mm. We harvest crops like corn and wheat and rice, where you take them from the field after they're grown. But nowadays, we've got people who are awful and evil who kidnap others、uh, because they need an organ or they want to sell people's organs. Uh, they're very expensive on the black market, which means it's illegal. But、uh, we talk about harvesting organs. Here, they're unwound, and their organs are taken to help people who need transplants. It's illegal to sell an organ in most countries, not in all countries,、mm. because people get desperate for money and will sell things. Like kidneys, and then if you、uh, your own last kidney doesn't work, you die. So,、uh, transplant. We talk about this a lot.、Uh, op- doctors perform surgery or do operations and take out、uh, 
organs of people, usually people who are brain dead, they've had an accident, and then they put that organ into someone who really needs it in the hospital. Now, in this way, they won't be considered dead because their body parts will live on. Well, that's crazy because you need your brain to be alive, and you know we aren't transplanting brains yet. <laughs> Not yet. I suppose they're working on it. I'm sure. But in this case, the teenagers will be killed, but their organs will be saved for people who need transplants. And in this way, they won't be considered dead because their body parts will live on. I guess, in a sense, that's kind of true. But the actual person's brain and stuff、uh, is dead. However, these teens have decided that hey, it's not their time to die yet. I'm not going to give up so easily. There's a lot more to see in this world. And in the next paragraph, it says, while hiding from the The police Connor picks up an abandoned baby on a doorstep. If something's abandoned, it's just simply released and just left there. It's been deserted or it's been cast off.、Uh, deserted animals or abandoned animals, for for example, sometimes we do indeed have abandoned babies. Not so often, though. Right, yeah, not so often. Well, he knows the baby will be sent to a state home, which is some sort of government home where they've set up a place for orphans to exist. You're an orphan if your mom and dad are both dead. No one can take care of you. Maybe you don't have any other family members. Those kids are often take care of, taken care of by the government. The state here represents the government, so a state home will later be、um, unwound if he leaves it there. So those kids that grow up in the state home in this novel, once they get to be teenagers, the government steps in again and uses them for their organs. They're unwound. Okay, and this, of course, attracts the attention of the police. This action, what he has done,、uh, attends,、uh, alerts the police. They say, "Hey, what's that guy doing there? It's rather unusual." So, of course, the three have to escape. The three of them flee into a school. Here, the word "flee" f l e e is a verb that just means to run away from a bad situation, to escape, basically. So、mm-hmm. they flee into a school. They're trying to run away from the police. And of course, the police are going to have to chase them. But hey,、uh, the plot thickens in this story. We'll continue talking about it in just a second. But right now, we're going to stop talking and listen to our Chinese teacher. 大家好，欢迎收听 English Digest， 我是 Alice。今天我们要阅读的文章是 Unit Fifteen 文学单元的第一天课程。首先，我们看到文章的标题 ：Unwind an absurd look at aborting teenagers， 分解人生存权的反思。形容词 absurd 是荒谬的、不合理的，相当于 ridiculous。R I D I C U L O U S， 或是 preposterous， P R E P O S T E R O U S。absurd 的名词则是 absurdity， A B S U R D I T Y。例如 ，The idea sounded quite absurd at first， but after John's explanation， it made sense。这个想法一开始听起来很荒谬，但经过约翰的解释后，就说得通了。文章的第二段提到，三名青少年被政府选为被解剖来捐赠器官的对象，但他们不愿意服从政府而选择逃亡。我们看到第一段的第二句 ：They have all been scheduled to be dismembered。他们全都被安排了要被肢解。Schedule 在本句是当动词用，有安排、预定的意思。Be scheduled to 再加原形动词就是指预定做什么什么。例如 ，The exhibition is scheduled to open on July 1st。展览预定在七月一日举办。此外 ，be scheduled for something 是指预定要进行某事物。Be scheduled for 加某时间，就是指预定在某时间进行什么什么。例如 ，The writer's latest novel is scheduled for publication in September。这名作家的最新小说预定在九月出版。我们接着看到第一段倒数第三句 ：If a teen is selected to be unwound, 
they will be killed, but their organs will be saved to help people who need transplants. 如果青少年被挑选去接受分解，他们会被杀掉，但器官会被保存下来，以帮助需要器官移植的人。Transplant 在本句是当名词用，有器官移植手术的意思。它也可以当动词用，意思是移植。例如，我们可以说 ，After his death, the man's organs were transplanted into patients who needed them. 在这名男子死亡后，他的器官被移植到需要这些器官的病人们。自首 trans t r a n s 有 beyond、across 或是 over 的意思。以 trans 开头的常见动词有 transmit t r a n s m i t 是传送讯号或是传播疾病的意思。另外，以 trans 开头的动词还有 transgress。T R A N S G R E S S 有违反、侵犯、越过的意思。例如 ，The politician's remarks transgressed accepted social norms。这位政治人物的评论超过了可被接受的社会规范。Transcend T R A N S C E N D 超越的意思。例如。Lily's achievements transcended her parents' expectations of her. Lily 的成就超越了她父母对她的期待。文章的第二段描述这三名青少年在逃亡的过程中所受到的帮助。我们看到第二段第三句 ：This action attracts the attention of the police, so the three flee into a school. 这个举动引起警方的注意。所以三人逃进一所学校。动词 flee 是逃走的意思。过去式和过去分词都是 fled, f l e d。flee 可以当及物或是不及物动词。所以当我们说逃离某地的时候，就要说 flee from， 再加某个地方，或是 flee 后面直接接地点。举个例子 ，The criminal tried to flee the country. But was arrested at the airport. 这名罪犯试图逃离国家，但却在机场被逮捕。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're talking about the book "Unwind" by Neil Shusterman, and we described some of the characters: Connor, Risa, Lisa, Re- Connor, Risa, Lev. <laughs> Uh, Lisa just came to mind. Sorry,、mm, they're teenage、yep. runaways. They haven't been happy at home, and they're trying to stay away from the authorities because they have all been scheduled to be dismembered or unwound in this book, where their organs will be taken from them and given to other people who need transplants. Now they're hiding from the police, and while that happens, Connor. One of the main characters, he picks up an abandoned baby that's been left on a doorstep. But he knows if the baby is sent to live in that orphanage called the state home,、uh, it will later be unwound if he leaves it there. So this action attracts the attention of the police. So what happens? The three of them run as fast as they as they can. They flee into a school. There they encounter a sympathetic teacher who agrees to adopt the baby and helps them escape. The three kids, Connor, Risa, and Lev. Now, if you encounter someone, you run. Into them, you hadn't planned on seeing them. Perhaps you don't even know them, and that's the case with this teacher. They're describing the teacher as being sympathetic. If you're sympathetic, you you express a lot of sympathy or emotions for people who are around you who are having a hard time. Maybe you have a friend who just lost her dog, her pet died, and you're sympathetic. You express sympathy for your friend. Well, the teacher was a good guy or good girl and agrees to adopt the baby. 
Yep,、uh, this teacher、uh, felt where they were coming from. Gee, if I were a teenager, I wouldn't want to be unwound myself. So,、uh, this particular teacher adopts the baby and helps them escape. They escape from the police. They flee from the police, and they head to the graveyard, an aircraft boneyard run by a man called the Admiral. Usually, a graveyard is a place. Where the dead people go when they die, it's also called a cemetery. Graveyard is kind of more colloquial,、yeah. but in this particular case, this is a term for something that is not a place for dead people.、Uh, it's a place, I guess, for dead airplanes that are no longer used.、Uh, isn't there some kind of a plane graveyard in the desert of Arizona or Nevada where all these old B-52 bombers are lined up in the desert? I haven't seen any. I haven't heard of it. I'm from Arizona, but I've I've never heard of it.、That's、Actually, I think.、Cool. It's in Nevada or something like、uh. that, but in any case,、uh, that's probably similar here. It's an aircraft boneyard. A boneyard is actually that's another slang term for a cemetery because bodies turn into bones, you、yeah. know. And in this case, I guess all these airplanes, helicopters, etc., are just、uh, taken to this place once they're no longer useful. Yeah, they're run by a guy who's、uh, called. Admiral or the Admiral—that's、uh, his nickname. It's not his real name. If you're an admiral, usually it means a man is a commander of a fleet or a naval squadron. He's a naval officer.、Uh, he's got a very high rank. If you're an admiral,、uh, we don't know if he really was one in the past, but they call him that. Here, they will learn different trades and work until they turn 18. Trade here means some sort of、uh, work that you can do that you don't need a lot of、uh, education for, but you do need some experience actually doing this trade. It could be、um, I don't know. There are different trades. You could be a plumber or an electrician, a carpenter, carpenter things that you do with your hands, but you need to have practice with that. He helps them learn a way to make a living. You could say, and they work there until they're eighteen. And once you're eighteen, in this novel, at least, you can no longer be unwound, or your organs can't be taken from you, and you left dead. I don't care what the book says; if they take your organs, you're dead. Uh, true, but of course, governments always、uh, offer explanations to explain their actions. But one day, the admiral has a heart attack, and the teens decide to take him to a nearby hospital. They got to do something.、Mm. He's got a heart attack. He is in need of immediate medical attention. So they think, well, we can't just leave him here. We've got to take him to a doctor. So they go to a nearby hospital. And of course, that、uh, you know lets them be exposed, and so there they're captured by、uh-huh. the government and taken to a camp to be mutilated. That、Gross. does not sound good. If you're captured, that means somebody catches you. Yep.、Uh, you can capture lots of different things,、uh, like during war. Of course,、uh, the army can capture lots of the enemy and make them prisoners of war and stuff like that. Or you can capture a criminal and put him or her behind bars in jail, etc. So here they're captured by the government. The government catches them, and they're taken to some kind of camp, like a labor camp or something. In this particular case, they're going to be mutilated. That means you receive some kind of severe injury that really damages you and makes you handicapped or something like that. Well, typically, when you hear this、uh, word "mutilated," someone's cut. Cut up,、yeah. cut into parts, kind of like dismember,、uh, sort of, but、yes. it's not quite as clear. So mutilated just means someone's been cut a lot; they've been、uh, hurt badly.、Uh, they've got a lot of damage to their bodies. Sometimes they've been all chopped up and dead. So just before Connor is to be unwound, the camp is attacked by teen suicide bombers. Now we we know what suicide bombers are because of terrorism that's around the world now, which is so awful. If you're a suicide bomber, you stick a bomb which will explode onto your own body, so that you not only kill other people when you explode the bomb, you kill yourself. The thing that's interesting here, though, is they're teens.、Uh, we have seen though some of the terrorists、uh, who are suicide bombers. They're not even eighteen. Mm. Which is terrible because before you're even a, an adult, sometimes you don't really make good choices because your brain isn't fully developed. So they've got these teen suicide bombers, and they're attacking the camp、uh, where they hold people that are ready to be unwound. So.
So maybe they、uh, rode their scooters into the camp or something, and the bombs exploded. And as a result, Connor and Risa are injured. And at the hospital, a nurse a nurse gives Connor a fake ID、yeah. so he can escape. A、uh, fake IDs are useful for people who want to do illegal things. Uh, from where I'm from, of course,、uh, uh-huh. the drinking age is what 21 now or something.、Right. But、uh, a lot of、uh, high school kids like to get drunk with their friends and go to parties and stuff like that. And one way to get to alcoholic beverages is to use a fake ID. And I guess different companies offer them online or something、yep. like that.、Uh, we're not、uh, condoning that behavior, but it's just an example of fake ID. You might get a fake ID to get government services or whatever. And so he's got this fake ID so he can escape, so he doesn't have. To be、uh, mutilated by the government, and Risa isn't unwound either because she's paralyzed in the blast, and Lev is sent to jail for taking part in the bombing attack. Now, earlier on here,、uh, we talked about the word "paralyzed." Here, to、uh-huh. be paralyzed means、uh, you can't move because of some injury, especially to your spinal cord or your back or whatever. And、uh, in an earlier lesson this month, you talked about different kinds of.、Uh, Uh, ways we can be paralyzed、uh, from the neck down、yeah. or from the waist down and stuff like that.、Mm-hmm. But、uh, I guess、uh, they feel sorry for her or something like that because she's paralyzed, so she doesn't have to be unwound. And Lev、uh, is sent to jail、uh, for taking part in the bombing attack. At least I guess maybe that's according to the government there. And in the end, Connor and Risa return to the graveyard where Connor takes over the admiral's job. And I guess that's how the book ends, huh? Right. If you take Over someone's job, it means you replace them.、Uh, maybe they go、uh, because they want to leave, or maybe they are fired. It does take over doesn't mean that、uh, it doesn't refer to any of that. So if you take over someone's job, you replace them. They're no longer doing it, and you are. So Connor's going to take over the admiral's job. Remember, the admiral was the guy that was in the graveyard. This is an aircraft boneyard that. Run by the admiral, so he's going to take over for the admiral. So it sounds like he has some place to go. Poor Risa is paralyzed now, and Lev, darn it, is sent to jail for taking part in the bombing attack. I think they were bombing the place though because、uh, they wanted people to stop unwinding these teens. Uh, very possible there, but of course you'd have to read the book yourself to find out. And、uh, I did a little research before our lesson today,、yeah? but I was not able to conclude whether this book is being made into a movie or not.、Uh, it sounds like they're thinking about doing、mm. it, or maybe they already did. I'm not sure. But in any case, my information was rather、uh, incomplete there. But in any case, here、uh, that's a summary of the book. And in our program next time, of course, we'll talk about the author himself. Cool. But right now, we're going to hear from the Chinese teacher. 文章的最后一段描述这三名青少年最后还是被政府逮捕了，以及他们最后各自有不同的结局。我们看到这一段的第三句 ：There, they were captured by the government and taken to a camp to be mutilated. 在那里，他们被政府抓到，并带往一处营地，准备被肢解。动词 capture 在本句是。捕获、俘虏的意思，其他常见的意思还有占领、夺取，或是拍摄，或是吸引或引起注意力或兴趣，还有逼真的呈现等等意思。例如，我们可以说 ：The enemy army captured the city。敌军军队占领了这座城市，或是。The documentary successfully captured the interest of teenagers. 这部纪录片成功的引起了青少年的兴趣。以上就是今天的课程，谢谢收听。That's it for today, everybody. Please join us again next time when we actually talk about the author of Unwind himself. We're all looking forward to that, so we can't wait to see you then. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Bye. Bye.